Okay. And do the ears. You can see how how orange they are. Um, ears, noses, elbows, fingers, toes, heels. You know those extremities tend to have um, more red in them, more blood, I guess. And that that comes through. Shows up as more more red. Uh, particularly if it's backlit, then it's a, uh, quite red. Like if you've ever um, you know, held your fingers, held your hand in front of the sun and looked at the color. <laughs> Got my little helper here. Hi, Banjo. <laughs> You can bring your your paint box in here if you want to. Okay. I don't know where it is. Maybe mommy can help you. But I don't know where it is. Oh really? Can I pop this? Yeah, that's fine. Put some highlights in the hair. <laughs> I apologize if you can hear the the hum of my my lights here in the studio. I intend to replace those with LEDs. <laughs> As soon as I can. It'd be a little bit expensive to replace all of all of them at once, but but that would be easier. Save a lot on electricity too. Mm -hmm. huh? I was talking to the people who are watching my video. You're watching me paint, which is even better, huh? I'm watching the video too. Yeah, right now. Brown and black? That's right. Oops, I'm not even pointing the camera at it. Brown and black. Oh, to make dark blue. Well. That's right. Smart girl. That is an awesome ballerina. Oh, wow. Thank you. I didn't do the picture. Not the painting. Oh, <laughs> you're talking about the... The photo, not the painting. <laughs> well, everyone's entitled to their opinion. Huh? Let's 
Let's see here. So I was just looking at the highlight up here and it is still darker than the highlight there. Let's see. Oh, darn it. I wish I could zoom in closer. Or focus rather when I'm close. But it's just things like that you have to pay attention to. Um, sometimes your brain takes over and you, you start to paint what you think you see instead of what you really see. painting you have to paint what you see instead of uh, I see. painting the way you remember seeing things hi what do you think that's awesome <laughs> it's turning out great These brushes are great to work with. They really are. I've missed them. So which ones are these? Oh, these are the rosemary, the, the mongoose ones. Oh. These are just like those ones I used to use and, and love, but... You want to squish the wet paint? What? What do you like about wet paint? Mm, I want wet paint. You want wet paint? Uh-huh. It's so pretty, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> I don't like yellow. I like brown and purple. Oh, yeah? I mean pink and purple. Did you do the guy? Oh, the guy in that? Nope, that was just one of my friends. Another artist who was taking pictures with me. I love you too, sweetheart. Putting corn on here. <laughs> You're putting corn seeds on there, huh? Well, that looks fun. <laughs> Black ones. That's good I'm advice. <laughs> and I don't like black ones. Black corn. So the reason I have corn seeds on my painting desk is um, here. we actually grew these from our garden last year. Um, the kind of corn that you'd make tortillas out of. Flower corn. Um, if you want to see me as a painter <laughs> yeah as a painter then you subscribe to this channel i'll be putting out videos as often as i can and our channel is really good <laughs> and we have another channel for our family for that for kids for kids and grown-ups huh and it shows our whole family and, and Lizzie i will link to that below grown up. she's getting older huh and you'll see our adventures with uh, gardening and living on a farm um, and building our house, which is a long process when you build it out of concrete. Yep. 
but maybe you've come over from there. And if so, then hi again. And if you're new to this channel, please subscribe and And again, I'll put a link down to our family channel below and see what we're like when I'm not painting. <laughs> I guarantee I'm a little bit more energetic when I'm not thinking as I try to talk. <laughs> Daddy, there's a lot in uh, Mm-hmm. Let's make this one just about the painting okay, sweetie. <laughs> we'll do our other video in a minute. You can see how, oops, <laughs> I thought for a second I was looking at the photo. I guess that's a good thing. Um, you can see how blue those, those highlights are. I'm not trying, I held this up, I, I'm not trying to match the photo. I'm just trying to get the proper relationship in the painting um, between the things that I see in the photo. But I'm not trying to copy those colors exactly. What's funny is you could you could do a completely accurate painting. You know, it could be photorealistic, and if you wanted to paint that way, and if you uh, wanted to get it to look just like the photos and be be realistic, you could do that. Oh, sorry, I wasn't even pointing at the painting. And yet you could hold it up to the photo afterwards, and not even not have a match at all color-wise, and that is normal and a good thing, I would say, because then it shows that you didn't hold your brush up to the painting or uh, to the photo and try to, you know, get roped into trying to match those exactly. So that's not the point. It'd be like putting a, uh, a green piece of cellophane or a green filter over over your eyes and, and painted it that way. You, well, yeah, I mean, if you painted with sunglasses on, you would definitely paint your painting darker than the photo, and yet everything would still look accurate. The darks would be darker than the lights, and the, um, everything would, would have the proper relationship. If you had green sunglasses on, the same thing would happen, only your painting would be more green. But even without a literal filter, all these colors are being filtered through your brain, through your mind. And that's what makes it interesting, is being able to see what your brain interpreted. Otherwise, just, just have a photo, right? So when you see a, a painting by any artist, you are, in a very real sense, seeing into the mind of that artist. And I think that's what makes, them, makes a, an original painting so neat to see. If you've never been to a museum, I urge you to go. Seeing original paintings, or to a gallery, I mean, they're, 
you go to a gallery anytime you want and uh, it's free. They're just retail establishments, but they are full of original paintings. That's going to be too light, I think. Maybe I, maybe I can... Oh, yeah, you're fine. It's just going to be some background noise here for a minute. It's all right. Shadow under the ear still needs to be darker. Ah, there you go, that right there. changed the shape of it so I'm gonna have to fix that right now um, let's see Make sure that the ear looks round. You know, it curves around like that. Which means it's, it uh, changes um, color temperature. It gets a little cooler and darker in this case as it goes around. And this ear over here needs a little bit of work. pretty good. Not bad for an hour or so, huh? Getting close now. You know what, I'm not quite to this point really, but let me... Well, I guess I'm to the point now because I'm doing it, right? <laughs> I'm going to put in some indications of light coming in. I don't think I'm going to paint accurate windows per se, but just really impressionistic light. And that truly is impressionism. The impression of light. Need more than that. Hmm. Maybe a little bluer there, just uh, kind of showing the halo effect of a window.
Okay, I'll do the same thing on this other window. Oh my. I'll try not to do it just the same way. Make it a little bit more interesting by changing it up a little bit. style radiator in there. This building that there, this ballet company is housed in. Half an hour away from here is just a really cool old building that the community has um, has preserved. A group has gotten donations together and kept this building in, in working order. It's uh, one of the older buildings in the in the area. It's pretty cool that people have have taken an interest in it. I love old buildings and old styles of architecture. general I've always had an open studio policy my kids can come in anytime they want the only reason I have a door now is basically to keep the our youngest a year and a half from from coming in when I'm not here and touching paint but when I'm here anyone's allowed anytime and I like that I can hear everything that's going on in the other part of the house and in a sense be part of what's going on with the family still even though I'm, I'm working in here being very loose back there with my representation of the shadows and things that are going on back there Got a, got a kitchen in this room. And right now, while we're remodeling the house, it's our only kitchen. fluff got on there. Okay, I wasn't sure if I was going to do the little sparkly things on that ballet outfit, but um, you know what, now, as I say that, I'm still not sure. I think I'll go ahead and make that decision at the very last stage. <laughs> right now there's still a few things that need to be done before I can call it done. Thank you. 
I love little passages like this where you can tell that that it's skin. You can tell there's qualities of softness, squishiness, if you will. <laughs> done. There's not much that I have to do. Almost there. Let's see if this is the right color. That's, yeah. Sorry about that. I think now I'm going to go back to this big brush, at least for a minute. You can see how much less precise this is. Oops, sorry. So.
I'm going for somewhat of a oh, gossamer feeling here. Almost foggy, I guess, in the background. Dreamlike. A little subtle indication of the bar back there. And that's not going to be subtle enough. I, can, I know already. There we go. Oh, that's too subtle. Just doing the highlight on the on the bars. thing I see is that this is too sharp of a line for me. I think it needs more of a obvious shadow shape in this area and here as well. So like one big shape that's kind of like this. So let me see if I can do that in as few strokes as possible. I have a dark purple. Let me add a little bit of this brown to it. Not, not, try not to over mix. Get that edge too. Well, I think I'm about done. Check it out from a couple angles. Oh, let me wash that off. Something about the face. Maybe it just needs a sharper line behind it. Oops, there we go. thinking that maybe it's just a little too light right here. We'll make that line kind of disappear. Okay, I like that. Now, do I put those 
decorations on there or not? Let me think about it for a second. You know what? I'm going to do some shapes there, but I'm not going to fully, fully explain what they are. I just like that there's this repeating pattern and that it's uh, kind of a nice contrast between that and the uh, and the pink behind it. I just feel like it needs something. in that hand. Let's see. I definitely don't want this part to draw much attention to it, but I do want it to look like what it is. Or slipper. And it doesn't look like it is like what it is right now. So instead of changing it, I'm going to change the background because I think that's the culprit. It just needs to be simplified. There's too much going on there and it's difficult to tell right off the bat what is happening. So just simplify that quite a bit. If you happen to be painting a picture and you notice that there's something wrong and you try to change it and it just doesn't work, well, don't keep on trying to change it. <laughs> if it's not working, it probably means that you need to change what's around it. At least try it out, because sometimes that's the, that's the solution. Because since everything is relational, you know, uh, what is happening around an object is actually affecting how the object looks in a very real sense. It's not just the way your eyes are, are seeing it. so sharp. Also this part. Just a little bit of softness. Ah, there we go. <laughs> okay. Well, I always have the option of going back and changing it, but for my purposes here, I'd like to say that I am done so that you can 
join with me in that decision, or rather see me make that decision. Okay, I'm gonna sign it now. Let's see, I'll use this one. This poor overused signature brush is going to remain that way. <laughs> I'm just gonna sign it in pure black today. Ah, my black pile is almost, almost unusable at this point, but I only need one more piece, one more dot of paint from it. Okay, I'll choose a spot that doesn't get in the way too much. Let's see. I'll go right here. All right, I hope you've enjoyed that. Thanks for joining me. Thank you for sticking through to the end. I hope you've learned something. I hope you've enjoyed it. Join me again. Be sure to click subscribe. Um, and also be sure to click the little bell icon. Looks like a bell. And check the mark, check the box that says you want to receive notifications when I put out new videos. Otherwise, you may never find me again. <laughs>